over bridging the gap between education and employment. The program dubbed Generation of Kenya is set to transform and support people into life-changing careers and hence benefit unprivileged youth from the society in a move to offer alternative careers. Patro Nila Gorin with the details from Mombasa. Unemployment amongst the youth in Kenya is still a challenge the government is still grappling with. The scenario is not different for the youth at the coast region. However, an ungovernmental organization, Generation Kenya, has stepped in to bridge the gap by providing free vocational training for youth with no activity to engage in. According to Generation Kenya program lead for Coast Region, Alan Wanjala, the program is set to instill both behavioral and technical skills. The aim of this particular program was to um, address the issues within the garment industry, introduce the role into the garment industry, and the technical skills, we're looking at them, how to operate um, different types of machines. We start, we start them off with single needle lock stitch machines. Uh, then we start introducing them to specialized machines. The organization has tailored a program that engages youth in a seven-week training that equips them with the skills and talents that enables them to be accessible and eligible for employment. We've seen a huge surge of demand, um, especially after the COVID period last year and this year and this trend is seen to continue through this year and hence the fact that we've scaled out our operations to see that we reach out to as many underprivileged uh, communities as possible. Sewing does pay. People used to believe that it's for the illiterate, it doesn't pay well, but it does pay. Helen Chepkembo is one of the beneficiaries of the Generation Program who graduated in August 2021. She says she was among the lucky graduates to land a job immediately after completion of her course. I've been an SMO from September last year up to date. I'm lucky to have uh, tried several machines because when I was taking my course with the Generation, I was able to get trained how to handle five different machines. At the company right now, the one I'm operating is a, a double needle chain stitch. And uh, I've also been lucky to have handled several operations. Chip Kimboy further encourages the youth to enroll into constructive programs instead of involving themselves in criminal activities. If you are class 8 dropout, maybe due to financial constraints, you are unable to proceed your studies, you can join the program. If you went up to the university as well like me, I went to the university, yes. I hold a diploma in project planning and management. But I had a passion for swing. That's why I had, to pro I had to come and enroll for the program. Shanice Wamboy has also enrolled into the program and explains how excited she is to participate in the training. Uh, I didn't have any job, yeah. But then, like, I joined it specifically also because it's my passion. I love, I wanted to learn how to make clothes. But then again, going to university, it would be so expensive. So, what is the criteria for the youth who are interested in joining the program? They should not be engaged in any other economic activity and they should not uh, be going to pursue any other education. This particular course is, we don't charge for this course. Uh, it's absolutely free. The only thing that um, the students pay is uh, for the NITA exams. Alan says the program has impacted the community positively with over 4,000 youths benefiting from Nairobi, Mombasa and Cliffy counties. We are looking at the community directly and saying, hey, there's a program that can impact on your community. Because when one of these people, when one of these learners uh, gets a skill, they get employed, they start earning and they start having impact at family level. And this multiplies to the, within the village or within the areas that, that, that they live in. Generation Kenya is currently running a cohort of 270 students in their Mombasa and Cliffy centers. Patroni Lagoren for TV47 in Mombasa County.